oh yeah, it is time to go back to what some might call the good old days. Welcome back. Welcome back to another Warframe stream. God dang it, I did not expect I'd be saying that. But uh, hey, how's it going? Espionage, Blaze, Alan Mercury, how are you doing? Hope you're doing all right. Uh, the PS5, dude, first of all, Congrats that you get your hands on it. Like, here they're still like super sold out. Also, shit, dude, you changed your name. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Now you're totally not a chatbot and not, a, not anymore. Does that mean that you are actually a chatbot now? Or like, how does that work? <laughs> I like the new name, man. I like the new name. Um, but yeah, welcome everyone. Uh, today, we are going to be playing Warframe. You might be wondering like, uh, what is that? Well, that used to be the game. I used to play all the time. That was the game that was like my, my main game. And I just do it like every single goddamn time. Like over and over and over and over and over and over again. So I got absolutely fucking crazy. We're not going to be doing that. It's not going to be the start of a brand new season of I'm going to be playing eight hours of Warframe every single goddamn day. But I am going to enjoy some some Warframe. Like Warframe released a new event and I'm actually quite enjoying it. Like I think it's, uh, it's not too bad. Uh, I kind of want to play it on stream. Uh, it's a bit of like... Fighting, uh, you know, kind of like a mobile defense sort of thing, but without the defense, it's kind of like, I'll show you. It's it's pretty much just like playing with your Tenno, and uh, that's a lot of fun. Uh, also, there's like a reference to like, hey kids, which uh, I thought was absolutely, absolutely like not really terrifying, strangely weird. That, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's it just got confusing. I have to give you that, man. I have to give you that a little bit, because I remember the first time you showed up. It's like, when someone has like chatbot in their name, it's like, are they like legit or are they like really like a chatbot sort of thing because some people just like you know have that so i i can i can see that i can see that anyway does your new name have like any significance to it like is there any explanation behind the name i remember that, like when i started with youtube like that was one of the biggest things which i wanted to ask everyone that i saw online is like what's the meaning behind your name because i thought that was like the biggest like really cool like um, topic starter because I was like oh man people will just be they'll have some insane stories about what's behind their name and, uh, and I'll ask the question and the world will just open up for them and like I will learn things which they never thought they'd say it's like oh man no one's ever asked me about this it's just all about like this and but actually people are just like oh, I just chose it because it sounded funny it's an acronym of my real name so good luck <laughs> hey man that's cool that's cool that's just all like Sometimes people have like really good things behind their name. Sometimes people just don't. People sometimes uh, it's, it's whatever. So, a thing thanks for that host. Hope you're doing alright. Um, you, you're gonna have to watch out the stream though. You're gonna have to watch out the stream. The stream's not gonna be very safe for sentience. So, anyway, because <laughs> we gotta be hunting sentience, hunting sentience on stream. Man, it's been such a long time since I've been in the Warframe directory. Um, I haven't missed it. I have. I have missed some of it. I don't know, man. Like. The funny thing is, the funny thing is, it, 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 it's, it's like a waveform. It's like a waveform sort of thing. And I, I think we've arrived at a perfect, perfect time right now. I think this is going to be the best time for Warframe right now. This is going to be the best time on the channel by far so for now. Because, like, the thing is, is I remember when I started this game, I was fully captivated by it. I fucking was like, ugh. I was so naive and I was, like, just ugh, completely taken by it. Then, as I grew more and more within this game, I, uh... I kind of, I kind of lost my sights. I was like, oh, Warframe is the best, Warframe is the best, and then uh, it was the worst because then I realized, what, but what am I besides Warframe? And then that kind of sucked, and I was like, I don't like it, and how can I enjoy it? How can I enjoy this thing? Why not just done me so much wrong? And now, I don't care. Now it's like we, we're here. We have this community. We have this. What's going on? It doesn't matter what it's on Warframe, what it's on any other game. It doesn't give a shit. So that's why. I can come back and really enjoy it because I'm actually enjoying it. I'm actually enjoying this update now. So Warframe Sentients are terrible strategists. They definitely are. A voice, a void lives within you. But what am I? Hmm, good question, good question, good question. Also, Defton is your teacher now? He def definitely is. He definitely is because Defton came up with his entire idea for this event. And I will show you. I will show you that Defton came up with his entire idea for the entire event. So I'll show you in a moment. Warframe is a love-hate relationship for me. So. The thing that I found is that I'm finally getting over that hate thing, and I'm finally getting over the loving too. I'm just like, hey, I'm enjoying it when it's fun, I'm not enjoying it when it's not fun. So, that's competition then. You're in competition with Warframe. Hey, good job, good job. I mean, Warframe could use some competition, because um, yeah, I don't know how great they're doing. Anyway, uh, let's go. Uh, 
Let's go take a look at it. Let's go take a look at it. It's been like a long, long time since we've done, done some Warframe. Here we are. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Or here we're not. I guess here we're not. <laughs> Damn, boy. Here we're not. Uh, I'm sorry, but you'll have to locate a new teacher now. Can I not have multiple teachers? Is that impossible? I think I'll have multiple teachers in different things. Um, let's see what it is. Yeah, this thing's working now. Sweet. That's amazing. I was hoping for that. All right, here we are. Oh, now it's perfect. Now it's perfect. Here we go. So how was everyone's weekend? My weekend was quite alright. Um, been a little bit busy with things. Um, we had the uh, the video come out, the 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 twenty twenty year review, and oh boy, was that something. Um, so the thing that I want to do, the thing which I kind of want to do on YouTube as well is, is is bring back some of that. Um. Some of those Twitch vibes were right here. We're just sitting and talk, and it doesn't really matter. Uh, like we're, we're, we just get to know each other, sort of thing. And I don't have that on YouTube and because on YouTube I know let's like the like, scripted shit or not scripted shit, but still like, hey guys, what's up? We're just doing things. So uh, that really wasn't the greatest. Um, I really like what I'm doing with um, uh, what is it? Um, I really like like what I do on YouTube, but I kind of miss the miss the the dialogue that we have that I have there. Like I I, I know of you are watching here on Twitch. I know some of you also watch the YouTube stuff, but I don't know everyone that watches me on YouTube, and that's weird. So that's the thing where where I want to bring that in. I want to do that more with like a free flowing conversation style. Um, and that was gonna be 2020 year review, and then the the, the video that I prepared like a week before was literally just me reading off a script. And I was like, I fucking hate this. Let me just go record this an hour before this thing goes goes live. So hope you enjoyed. Uh, 2020 overall was not that bad a year. I quite liked it. And um, yeah, let's get into the game. So um, here we go. I. Wonder how much sound we have. I think here we go. Uh, I would have just said about the script in the video if you didn't mention it. I saw you reading the notes. I definitely did have notes. And uh, I, I also mentioned that. But the thing is, there is a difference between having some notes. Because I, especially like those stats, man. Those stats. Like, I am not going to be able to to be there like, oh, yeah. Uh, I definitely had uh, so many hours streamed on, on this year. Because how the fuck would I know how much how many hours I streamed last year? Actually, I know it as 378 hours and 45 minutes, I think. Or 38 minutes. Um, or how am I supposed to know that like my total subscriber count was like uh, 513 on the one channel and you know, like, 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 like those statistics I'll have to jot down so I have some idea of like what I'm what I've said and what I'm supposed to say so um, That is why that was there um, But it's different than just being like um, Fine, I'll eliminate the entire competition. No more multiples <laughs> Good luck with that. I would have just said about it. Uh, yeah, uh, how was your weekend? Good. Thanks, man. Hell yeah. So, what do we have going on? Um, right here we have this event going on, which is called Orphix Venom, uh, which seems like it's kind of a um, it seems like it's kind of a a, a demos event, which makes you worried about like, oh my god, not another open world. Uh, but it's actually it's actually not. Uh, but let me just go and show you like what's going on with it. Uh, what kind of things are? Oh, so there are new ships in Warframe. I didn't even know. It's it, it's so weird. Like. Also, I got lost with extraction today. I literally got lost with extraction, so... Even I have notes. I predict the entire stream and then make notes on what I will say. <laughs> Alright, what will happen now if they... What will happen now? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me! What's gonna happen now? Fire? Or not? Or maybe... Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows is gonna happen? But yeah, um... The weekend was okay. Anything special happened in New during the weekend? I don't know. It was just like a lot of things. Also, oh, why am I in here? No, I don't want to be in here. Ne Necrolos. Yes, that's where I want to go to. Bye. So, yeah. Uh, holy shit. I just got accepted into the regional finals for boxing. Dude, that is so cool. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> then, uh, once you once you get past the regionals, nationals, international, Olympics. <laughs> Is there a sea Olympics bo uh, Olympic boxing? I'm not quite sure. Um, soon that might be flags. Who knows? It's not like anyone can predict the future. <laughs> but you predict the future in the stream, don't you? So here we go. This right here is uh, ah, message reached you, huh? Is the person we talk to? We're going up against basically, like what we have. Um, basically, what we have in here. He's gonna talk my ear off. So pog for Warframe. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we have a brand new uh, we have a brand new warfare right here. Hey, look at that pog. Look at that stream pog. I love it. I fucking love it. Um, there we go. Um, so basically, right here we have a brand new warframe. Uh, I don't have enough cells. Like I haven't built it yet, so I wanna I wanna get to building it. Uh, we have new weapons. We have a new necro necromech helmet. We have new mods. We have uh, arcing weapons for whoever cares about that. And then we have arcanes like an insanely low price. To think that these things were at one point kind of like end game thing where people were fighting, uh, doing raids for them or fighting islands for them, and now you can get them for half the price of a warframe is insane. Um, so it's definitely a event which is kind of worth it. So I am going to go up and I'm going to go and do some of this. So, uh, Neat, do enjoy beating everyone you. <laughs> do enjoy beating everyone up. I mean, enjoy the competition. Yeah, that is one thing which I find weird when it comes to martial arts. I, I, I very much respect it. I think it's very, very cool to see. And there are definitely things where I'm like, wow, that is so awesome. At the same time, it's so weird in a sense that, especially when it becomes like super serious sort of thing that you, 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 you get started, you look towards your opponent, you're like, we're going to beat each other up, eh? Yeah, we are. <laughs> and that's just so crazy to me because the thing is, is I, I come from swimming. So it's like we, we start, you start at the start and at the end, you're just like beat up in the sense of like, you, you just did like a, a lot of swimming, but that's kind of it. And that's just, yeah, it's, that's such a weird thing. Um, but yeah, I shall destroy, oh man, we'll cross my path. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Um... But I need to see what I need to do for um, how do I ne get get a get a get a necromech? Because I know Steph has given me some parts. Um, void ray casting necromech. I really don't know. I really forgot how to get a necromech because I don't have one yet. I don't think so. Uh, so I need to find parts for it, but it's so hard. It's so, so hard to find ones. Among Us is the same. Let me lie to you and frame you and kill you, friend. <laughs> I know, right? That's so crazy. Necromech. See, okay, so I have parts here. How do I put them together, then? Stand by while I analyze the intelligence profiles of the grenades. All right. Not a number. Did the operator enjoy this with I need the broken parts. I don't know. Go fold hunting, Blue Demon says. All right. Well, uh, actually, I'll show you why I've why I've called this uh, why I've called this Tenno Defton thing. So uh, let's go in here. Uh, if anyone wants to join in, by the way, if anyone is still like doing Warframe on PC, when anyone wants to join in, let me know. Um, you're always welcome to uh, to join in. So this right here is the fun. Uh, I've done one one of them so far. Uh, I can do the more advanced one. Um, let's just do the more advanced one. It's like whatever. Um, I'll show you why I, uh, why I call Defton Sensei for this. So, should you ever meet a person that represents this being, will you punch them for me? <laughs> will you punch? Uh, oh, uh, what what? Will you punch me then? Uh, I thought you said punch me for no. Also, there's like, look at that. There's a brand new ship right there. Have you, has anyone ever seen that ship and how? Where where does it come from? Because I've never seen that everyone uses it. I just feel so such an outcast in my prime the set thing. <laughs> oh man, also Blue Demon, hope you're doing it right, man. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Should I? Uh, I should attempt to join. You're more than welcome to join. So it comes from that way free. The Nightwave ship. Is this the Nightwave ship? It's like such a long time. Today I actually lost extraction. Alright. So let me show you why I call this Defton Simulator. Here we go. So the thing is, is you have the sentient defend where the sentients are sending out things which cancel your Warframe. And that's why you got to go into your, uh, your 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 Tenno mode. Now this is what Defton did before this event was entirely a thing, or anything like this was a thing. He would just go into um, into missions just as like a Tenno. And the Tenno are actually pretty damn good at this. Like I've tried the Necromech, but I actually prefer doing this in Tenno mode. So. Like look at that man. Oh fuck. Alright. We uh let's see, we always struggle to get me into mission. Will we with Warframe though? Because Warframe is actually pretty alright with getting people in missions. Oh so why the fuck is it so high up? Oh my god, that is so crazy. Oh shit. 
Only the parkour with the Tenor is a little bit tougher. Uh, then again, I don't think the Necromex are all that much better since they don't really jump all that well. So. It all comes down to being able to uh, manage the incoming damage. But my eye with damage is so much better than any Necromech which I find on the, on the street sort of thing. So, let's see. Here we go. Another Orphix. I think every round is like is about three Orphixes and then you get a rotation reward. I'm not quite sure where the cells are being located. Uh, whether they're like drops that you can get or whether it's... Um, Basically, just uh, at the end of the mission, uh, everything gets counted based on how well you perform, sort of thing. I'm not quite sure about those yet, or the best way of running it. I just, I just like did one round uh, to kind of get the gist of it. And I don't think it's too bad. Like, it's not an open world. It's not a defense sort of thing. It's just go out, blow things up, get reward, and uh, hey, I quite enjoy it. Uh, so let's see here. That's over there. Also, I, I think it's so fun. I think it's so fun. Like, I remember when the, when, when the sentient came, when the sentients came out and the sentients were supposed to be this massive mighty force, which we were going to be super afraid of. And now it's kind of like, yeah, I'll just find him with my little kiddo. Because <laughs> it's better than the Warframe. That said, the Necromex aren't all too bad because they're they're quite big actually, uh, and walking around in them is quite an experience because they're kind of too big for this map, and that's what makes it fun. So yeah, let's see here. We gotta we gotta first find all these terminals sort of thing where they. Um, which protect the thing. Ah oh, shit, out of energy here. Gotta recharge. Ah oh, shit, the, uh, the things are up. So the Necromex are a little bit quicker, but I think the Tenno is just a little bit more powerful. So yeah. So how far is your Japanese studies? Not good actually. Uh, I've been really busy with a uh, uni project and uh, videos and stuff. Um, the the cyberpunk stuff really really uh, was a big breach of my time as, as well as the other year review video um, these things I'd plan entirely differently and the, the timing on it was just way much so much more than I actually expected that it just blew way past like the time I scheduled for it so that combined with like the time I need to spend in university uh, took away a lot from my Japanese studies. I hope to be able to catch on to them uh, soon because I have I have a video which is bound to go out tomorrow. It's pretty much done, pretty much ready. Um, I shouldn't go there. Uh, other than that, I also have a video for Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday, which is pretty much done and ready. And I've recorded a video today, which is more of a exciting video sort of thing, more of a like more edited video, which is should be out on first day, given that I have three days to edit that for ten hours. So that is like three hours and change a day, which should be perfectly fine, so yeah. Anything I can post in the Japanese uh, lesson to have a single felt lesson that might assist in your study? Uh, right now, my main thing is just learn, uh, it's just like getting to the kana. That is my most important thing, refreshing that, because it's been a while since I've done that, and the only way for me to really do that is to really dedicate an hour a day to, um, uh, to just getting it done, to just going over them. And the hours that I had was actually just uh, the hour before I get dinner and then I do stream, but today I was just spending on editing because I was just so busy. <laughs> so that is, uh, uh, yeah, that that really sucks, and I really really want to get that fixed uh, by tomorrow. I also didn't get to do my workout today. Like that that shows how busy it is because I'll do my workout regardless, uh, but I just did not have the time today because things are going on, and videos are not entirely smoothed out yet, but uh, they are getting smoother and smoother by by the minute. So. Yeah, that is that. I really, I really, I really dislike it because I do know that a lot of the lessons, like, they, uh, like I want to be more active in it. I want to post more in it because that is really sort of I feel dependent on how it goes because I'm the one that set this up, and if I'm not really there to uh, to be active in it, then uh, then like what 
like what doesn't incentivize you to uh, join in the two. And I really want to incentivize the first people as much as I can because seriously, I've heard someone say like, oh yeah, um, it's been like such a quick year this year because, you know, um, what's happened this year because you're always inside. It's like, what have I done this year? It's like almost nothing. It's like, I hate that. I, I really just like that. I really hope that people can get away from a year feeling like they've done something. And I hope that I can, uh, I can help that. So yeah. So, yeah, I'm just waiting for someone to ask, uh, to ask about it. Quite. Yeah, it's like, uh, I'm so sure, like, I really haven't been able to do much about it, and I really fucking hate that. But there we go, another orphix down. Uh, when we get to town, man, like, they're referencing town, and I can't wait for, for us to actually get to town. Also, that's kind of useless. Um, I should use my shuriken more. Because shuriken literally just um, takes away armor. I think I have my second shuriken ash equipped right now. So yeah. But yeah, what have you been up to, Finn? What have you been doing these last few days, this weekend? Any studies? Any... Anything interesting you wish to share? And there's another one. Actually, this is quite contained. I was I was at a corpus map earlier today, and that was so all over the place. I couldn't even find extraction on that one, eh? That was insane. That was the first time since since like years that I could not find extraction on it. Travel, what's up, man? How's it going, dude? I saw you're playing Ark today. Uh, how what is Ark like? Cause cause I, a couple of years ago, I uh, I saw some people. Uh, I heard some people play it. It's some sort of like survival thing. Um, I think I mean I should have it on the Xbox. It sounds like it, it sounds cool, but I don't know much about it. I just find it much easier once one embarks kanji, though everybody learns different. Yeah, my my re, my, my biggest strat is just to go uh, here. We got a kanji, and then while I'm uh, while I'm studying kanji, to go into uh, grammar more as well. Oh, I thought I had that down. Oh fuck. Uh, it's rough. Oh damn. Run, it's a sentence, but fear not, they have not strategy. <laughs> they have no strat. No wonder the Oro can struggle so hard so much. That makes me wonder too. Then again, the Orokin did not have Barra's butt plug, which definitely kicks ass across the board. And there he is again. Oh man, I remember, I remember doing these these really long missions with um, with this Ash. Ah, oh, the good old days. Also, why is it so high up? Like Warframe has this really weird thing where they scale it really, really funnily. Like this thing is way too high up to to be like actually really accessible here. So. I don't think anyone uh, planned this. Just make them attack. Okay, done. Amazing plan. <laughs> kind of sounds like it. Kind of sounds like how they're planning this entire war. Why am I not damaging it? Are we still missing something? There we go. No damage is coming through. A little bit, just. And it's done. Boom! I apologize, I do love my strategies. <laughs> Was this a strategy designed by you? Was it? So yeah, overall it's just taking these down. Uh, the score has actually increased quite a bit. Um, the higher it goes. What, what level is this by the way? Um, I need to stop killing them in order to see what kind of level this is. Uh, bada bing bada boom bada bing bada boom. I don't know what kind of level we're on. I hope to find out soon with Adam dying before that happens. 32. Oh, okay. So the, the first level is about 20. The second level is about 30. And then the the, 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 the the expert one will be like 40 or 50 or something, I think. That is sensible. Oh, yeah. By the way, if you if you want to get a sensation of what it's like to, uh, to be in a necromech, 
Inside Warframe. Uh, let me let me go do this right here. It takes a while to get up. They may or may not have guns, by the way. Oh, this one has. Okay, that's sweet. But yeah, as you can see, it takes a little longer to take down a sentient with just a standard uh, Necromech. So that's why I prefer the Tenno a little bit more. But I'll try and keep this one alive throughout this uh, Orphix. So then we can walk through the entire building sort of thing. And then see how... Uh, that's, that's by the way, a mini flight long. I was like, the first time I saw it, I was like, God, God damn, is that the flight long? But like, look at how big this thing is. Look at how fucking huge that is. That doesn't make sense. It's just a bit weak, but it's weaker than my Tenno. But yeah. Sorry for not commenting. I really got a tight match in Titanfall 2. And also my birthday is in eight days. Dude, happy birthday, man. I am so sorry for, for like, the fact that like you had the best bet with your birthday last year when Corona started taking place and lockdown started happening in March. And you were like, well, you know, everyone's like, oh, yeah, it's just going to be the... Uh, What is going on? Uh, hello? What are you doing here? Is that a piece of Delore? I guess this is a piece of Delore. Um, yeah, I remember last year when people were like, Oh, yeah, uh, people in, uh, people with birthdays in March and April, they're just gonna have a birthday all, all by themselves. And I remember me just being like, Oh, thank God I'm in July. I'll just be having a regular birthday. But uh, that wasn't the case, and I, I, I assumed that you were, you were like, hopefully lucky enough that, oh man, if I'm gonna be in like January, February, like January, end of January, I'll be alright. But uh, yeah, <laughs> we're still not quite there yet. Anyway, I do hope you'll have an amazing day, man. Uh, I hope you got something good planned. And there is some endo, sweet. She's just spouting. No she's just spouting. Nothing matters. I know. Like that's been like that from the start of the game. I know about that. <laughs> Jen, what's up, man? How's it going, dude? Ah, uh, see, we're back here. So there's not really a lot of rhyme and reason to like how they spawn. It's just that they spawn sometimes, and um, sometimes they'll just like spawn over and over. I still got a lone birthday anyway, like every year. Oh no. <laughs> Eight days. That will be like Tuesday. Let's uh, let's make next one next week Tuesday like a little bit special. Is there anything 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 we can do to make your birthday a little bit special in the stream? Because you know, your birthday don't have to be alone. You know, we're here. So yeah. Um, sorry for being AFK. I was getting tea, dude. Get your nourishment. Get your drinks. Nothing more important than that, man. Um, Among Us Night tomorrow? Uh, let's do that on Friday. I think Friday is the better day to do it. Uh, also, let's see. Um, Misha, in the video, you asked what the other questions were. They were a theme. What is the moral of the story? Um, actually, I did ask. I did answer those questions in the previous video I did. I just did not have them in my notes at the time. So I kind of missed them. And I was like, if I start this one, it's going to take like five minutes. So fuck it. Um, but I'll, uh, I'll answer them here. Um, I think I said something about the more of the story that, like, possibly, potentially only the author knows the more of the story, don't they? And to, um, uh, uh Retro's a a question of if 42 is the answer of, is the question, is the answer to the meaning of life, what is the answer to, um, let's see, what is love? And I think I, uh, I, I copied Jen's answer and just said, uh, Hey, uh, it's it's a 69 because I quite like that and I would have said that too. Oh, what's up, folks? What's up, man? How's it going? Yeah, welcome back to Warframe. I actually, I I really, really not hate this event. This is, this event's quite good. So yeah, doing uh, doing okay. Been watching an anime I've never heard of until now. Ooh, which anime are you watching? Naruto, One Piece. <laughs> I'm quite curious. Uh, I'm really, really excited. Get a Japanese keyboard. Uh, that is one of the end goals sort of thing, but first I gotta I, I, I gotta start studying sort of thing I can't get something without putting in the work, but that, that that's just that's just taking shortcuts. I hate taking shortcuts 
Um, but yeah, I've been watching. Oh my god, it's so cool. There are so many like new cool anime coming out uh, or continuations. One Piece is getting insanely cool. Um, I was so stoked for this week's episode. It was so cool. And then um, uh, what is it? Re Zero uh, is starting again. I can't wait for Wednesday for another episode. It is finally picking up where it so desperately left me after the end of the second season. So I'm really excited about that, and I think the slime anime is coming back, Dr. Stone is coming back, there's so much cool things coming around, so I'm excited about anime. Uh, Konnichiwa, Fima Senpai, uh, senpai. Uh, ever watched Guilty Crown? No, I have not. Is that an anime, or is that someone else? Because uh, if it's an anime, I'll just add it to my anime list, and I'll watch it at some point, when I have time. <laughs> Guilty Crown is, is great until half of it. I mean, then it's worth experiencing for at least half of it, right? It's just like Death Note. I mean, I think. Death Note is pretty much also where you're like, well, that was great for 20 of the 25, 30 episodes, and then it kind of just goes to shit, so. Sildren, so, what's up? How's it going, man? Guilty Crown is an anime. Pretty sad, to be honest. Ooh. I mean, I can, I can do with a feeler anime. I really, really like how uh, how anime can have different sorts of, um, sorts of, what is it? Sorts of moods that it can go in. Like, it's pretty great about that. Oh shit, someone's extracting. Um, let's see, let's take down one more Orphix and then let's get out with them too, because I know uh, Afima's right here, ready to rock and roll. Uh, with this, so... Sorry, I was in a crazy game! <laughs> That's a red man. Uh, ever watch... Yes, I did. Uh, the weird thing about that though is, is I'm gonna have to rewatch that because I did watch the entirety of it, and I'm sure of it, because I remember the title, I remember me watching it, I just barely remember anything about it, and I don't know why that is. Like, that is so weird. But yeah. Uh, yeah, Argus, stupidly harsh if you're unfamiliar with it. Just kind of like how I am with uh, Sea of Thieves. I want to play some more Sea of Thieves. Because I am really, really, my, like, I'm really, really, like, I like that. But I remember, uh, I wanted to make a highlight video of last stream. Um, but basically, I, uh, it, I really fucking sucked because I was, like, I had no idea what I was talking about. So... Uh, let me get to what's the extraction point. So, do you want to get a cyst or should I remove it? Uh, I've already gotten my cyst here. I already have my uh, cyst vaccine. Uh, sort of thing. Because I've already gotten that on all of my things. Ever watched Black Clover? Uh, no, it's on my uh, it's on my uh, to watch. Because I have heard a lot of things about it. I've heard a lot of people talk about it. I've not seen it. So... It is still a Might to Watch. There is a lot of Might to Watch. I'm, uh, I'm like, just started with Gintama, or 20 episodes in, in, into Gintama. I should pick that up again, because Leo really recommended it to me. I was like, I really enjoyed it, and then other things took over, so. I'm more se seasonal anime right now, but there are going to be times, for sure, where I'm going to have more time to watch anime. So that's why I'm always super, super keen on getting to know all of your uh, things to figure it out. Do another four professional Sea of Thieves fit, then? Um... Would work doesn't really work because the thing is, which I've discovered, is if I don't know what's going on, uh, I am like that stream was fun, but the thing is for a video, I'm kind of like I'm trying to figure it out half the time, and I'm not so much engaged with making it a fun video because or a fun stream because I'm like, okay, what do we do now? What do we do now? Uh, 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 and instead of, instead of saying, oh my god, that was so dumb, I'm just like, um. Uh, I missed that. I missed that. I missed that. No, 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 no. I missed that. I missed that. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. So, yeah. Do you read manga? I've read I've read a couple of manga. Uh, I would love to read more manga if I ever get to Japan and get to reading Japanese. Then I would love to use, like, manga to enhance my um, reading capabilities in Japanese. Until then, I've not really read, read a lot of manga because I quite enjoy uh, watching the anime. And if I read the manga of the series that I watch, then I kind of spoil myself. So I don't want to do that. Um, so, just make shit up. I recommend Siren Manga. It's manga exclusive. Ooh, good. That is really, really cool. Um, yeah, for, first I gotta I, I gotta have some mastery of um, Japanese, and then I can get into buying paper manga versions, because I, cause I would love to have, like, shelves of manga and stuff. So, Gintama is, uh, is, uh, is one that gets weirder the more you watch. <laughs> it's already pretty weird from the start, okay? So, yeah. Do you know the worlds of vertical writing? Actually, I don't. I know that they, they'll have like the, the right to left uh, reading sometimes, but I don't know about vertical writing. Which is actually, in and of itself, a pretty cool system if you think about it. The fact that we don't really have that, that we don't have a way to vertically write. So, actually, I'll post that next. Hell yeah. 
so yeah, 12 seconds and then we can get out of here. Um, and then we can form a squad if anyone wants to down to uh, join in. Let's let me get something to drink. So yeah, Tom and Jerry is my favorite anime. Dude, Cory in the house. Yeah, ever watch Cory in the house? My favorite anime. <laughs> So yeah, let's see how much we get. 356 basic cells? Actually, this is not... It's way more worth to do to do the first mission than this one. For these basic cells. Because, um... Uh, yeah, you don't get that much. Anyway, we have a Aten statue. And uh, right here... Oh, th this was beautiful. It just starts out with, Hey, kids! And I was like, Oh my god! No, I don't need that. I don't need that. So yeah. Uh, unnecessary says, but you watch One Punch Man? Uh, what is One Punch Man? I don't know! <laughs> no, dude, I did! I, I, like, like, legit, I, last week or something, uh, I rewatched it. Oh, no, not last week, last month. Two, or two months ago, I rewatched it, because I was like, yeah, have, fuck yeah. I really enjoyed it. Uh, so let's see, what do I want to do now? Uh, since you're learning Japanese, uh, when will we pronounce anime correctly? <laughs> I will, we'll just pronounce it a name. So... 2023 new season of dude one punch man okay let me tell you about this let me tell you about this one punch man is like this show which i don't understand have you watched uh so i am majitsu no index no i haven't i haven't it also doesn't really ring a bell so uh throw it in discord in the uh, hashtag uh must experience because uh then i'll add it to my anonymous list. Uh, what do I want to say? Oh yeah, One Punch Man. I don't get One Punch Man, okay? One Punch Man is the weirdest freaking show of the entire planet because it was like, there wasn't a big studio behind it. It wasn't like a big production. It wasn't a year long manga. It was one guy with his webtoon that created One Punch Man. So it was a pretty cheap design sort of thing. Like there are anime which are designed with way more things behind them. Then it was insanely popular with only 12 episodes, so it wasn't a 1,000 episode one, one Piece, it was 12 episodes and the entire world loved it, even people that did not know anything about anime, they loved it everyone was like insane about it so it was like the, the best thing ever and then they never did anything with it, it's like, what the fuck you guys, you had such a great thing and then season 2 comes out years and years later where people just completely forgot about it and it's like, oh shit, only the only like hardcore anime fans just remember One Punch Man Season 2. And it's like a lot less good. And then they plan the next one two years from now, like three years later. Like for God's sake, man! Like these should be pumped out like every two years or something. Like it's kind of as though they would make The Witcher the, uh, the Witcher and the Netflix series, which was insanely popular, then not release it for another four years for season two and make that a lot more worse. And then wait another three years to release season three. It's like, come on man! Like, how hard can it be? It is so good. It is so good. Like, please, continue to make more. So that's, like, the biggest thing where I'm like, wow. So, yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm back now, but it's called uh, Michiko and uh, Hachin. It takes place in Brazil. The story is about an outcast that escaped prison and a girl that was left behind by her father to be adopted by an abusive family. And went on an adventure across Brazil to find a certain someone. The weirdest show, but it's got, uh, but it's got very good animation for season one, at least. Ooh. But Mob Psycho is better in story, in my opinion. Animation is just on par with a bunch of Watchmen Season 1 for me. Ooh. One well, Punch Man is simply uh, simple, but it has a great and kind of understanding story, which is easy to watch. So that's an anime a lot of people get into anime for. It was also just like, the thing with One Punch Man... The thing with One Punch Man was that it was... It was straightforward. It was a, a, an angle which was quite surprising because I hadn't seen a lot of people take it. And it was just fun. So, um, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't get why, 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 why it, why, why it sucks so hard at things. Um, so yeah, it was so weird. It was so weird. Why did that take so long? That made no fucking sense. That was just the craziest thing ever. Um, that's going to do a bit of this. So yeah, the anime studio that made One Punch Man is one of the greatest. Also, the manga take time to make, so they need to wait until the start of, until they can adapt to anime format. I know that there's something, like, there's time that, that it takes, but there are also anime series which takes so much, like, they're so much quicker. Especially when you have such a high profile thing, which is such a, I, I believe, I'm not quite sure, okay? But I believe it was comparatively to other series, a lower cost to start out with. And then, it was so insanely popular, like, I have not seen any other anime other than Naruto or One Piece, which are so much longer. 
be so widespread known. Orphix incoming. Every one. That just took me so much by surprise. Also, a female still in here. Okay, that's good. Don't be afraid to fail when you have to. That mech may not be in prime condition, but we do not have time to be fussy. Go ahead, use it. So yeah, let's go and try what the what the toughest one is. Also, let me see what levels are here. Uh, can't see levels now. Oh, 35! Oh, 35 ain't bad, man. Wow. I mean, it starts at 35, but how hard is it? I just started- I'm sort of one piece. I am at episode 9 of 958. Oh, man, it is so fucking good, man. It is so good. Um, what- You have probably just seen something, uh, in one of these episodes, which doesn't get, uh, which is a call forward to one of the latest episodes. So... Just keep that in mind that even 26 years down the line, there may still be things which were called like 20, 26 something years ago, uh, or 25 fucking years ago, which are now getting like, which are now being addressed. It's insane. There are so many things in that, in that series, which the writing, you're just, I'm just amazed. I'm just absolutely fucking amazed by it, so. Actually, Studio Madhouse and other freelance animators and a known animator from Studio uh, Bones, uh, Yutsuka Nakamura, do the fight scenes for Season 1. Season 2 just has no choice to be worked on by JC staff. Weren't there the same, thing, the, the same people that did, um, what is it? Shoki no Soma? Because that... Shoki no Soma was something very, very similar. Where, actually not really. It was kind of different, but also kind of the same. Which is a great statement to give, but the thing is, is, uh, yes, if he surely is, and uh, indeed, he is not gonna die anytime soon. Um, uh, the those anime are that are quick is because they're either finished web novel or long running mangas that are popular, so they have plenty of material to adopt. JC staff did do Shoki no Soma. Okay, I thought so. So the thing with Shoki, uh, Shoki Geki no Soma or Fruit Wars was that it was an insanely hugely popular uh, series when the first season came out. I really, really enjoyed it. I know for a lot of people that was also like, um, um, uh, what is it? There was a lot of fan service still, which people will go go crazy for. But I just quite enjoyed it because it was an anime about food. It was quite cleverly written. I quite enjoyed it. It was it was good. I enjoyed it. But then the seasons that came that came next and next and next, it just kind of stopped animating. Like, legit, these, th this anime, if you could so call it an anime, and I will not shit on animation. I have watched One Piece and I fucking love that, and some people shit on that animation. It's like, oh, it's on high enough quality. I don't give a fuck. As If I can enjoy it, it's good. But the thing is, it's like, they would legit just make something where it was like, oh yeah, uh, we're having a food war right now. We're here, and let's let's show a shot, a sliding picture of, of the food. Then let's show a sliding picture of some people staring at something and just have some mouth moves whenever they speak. Oh, let's show a, a sliding picture. And it was just sliding pictures with very minimal animation for the entire episode. And I was just, I was just amazed. Like, how is this a thing? What is going on then? And that was just, oh man. Slowly but surely, that series, it got so many seasons too. That at, at a certain point, I just lost interest. I was like, I don't even know, man. This started off so good, and now there's so little animation, and there's so little story plot going on that I don't really care anymore. So I kind of dropped it, which is really, really sad because I really, really enjoyed it. So yeah, uh, JC staff is okay. Uh, it's, uh, it's okay, anime studio, but they have a serious pro problem on budget control. Uh, they honestly do. That's why I don't really like the animation and cell shading in uh, One Punch Man 2. You see some, you see some of those things in One Punch Man 2 as well. I know some people have really ragged on the animation there. Um, I think it's acceptable, but it's not not very special. If you compare it to season one, there is a stark contrast. So especially with fight scenes or things, uh, one of the kill most most amazing moments sort of thing. So there's this one moment where they have like the main antagonist uh, meet Saitama, which is going to be which is supposed to be the best moment of the entire series, and it's kind of like yeah, oh yeah, they. You don't even see Saitama strike. It's just camera movement of a still image, and it's so weird. So, although Gaira's fight scenes and backstory did ha did kind of save the season, I think the story-wise they went okay. Uh, I don't really mind what they did with uh, with the story because 
they can't always go with the storyline of uh, of oh yeah uh, it's all about Saitama so I think they did well with expanding the world but yeah oh come on man how did we feel that that is so strange That is really weirdly really weird because I thought we were kind of we were kind of decently on it. We weren't getting our ass beaten, that's for sure. So anyway, let's uh, let's go to the easiest let's go to the easiest one. That's like the best one for farming points, I think. So let's go for that. I just want to farm a bunch of points because I want to get that warframe, and I don't really care about like the defend awards or something. So. Madhouse is one of the greatest anime studios. I I don't know that many anime studios by heart. Even though I've been watching anime for a long, long time. But, uh... There are some really, really good ones. Um, were they the... Was Madhouse the one that did, um... Kill a Kill and, um... What was the one? Oh, no, that was Studio Trigger, wasn't it? And, uh, taking Top of Gurren Lagann. I really love Gurren Lagann. It's so good. So yeah, four start please. Okay, on it. Boom. I hate this loading screen with all the characters idly covering the entire screen. It's ugh. there are things which I really miss about old Warframe. Um, but I quite also. I think where did you get that ship though? I really like that ship. Is that like a Nightwave ship or something? Because everyone seems to have it. I I really don't know it. There, there are so many more things which I just don't, don't, don't realize. Uh, but yeah, I think you know, like uh, Michiko and, her, and Hachin, it, the storytelling, voice acting, and just the animation would astonish you. Ferdin, uh, Ferdin, uh, must experience, and I'll throw it in my my anime list, and whenever I have time, I'll, I'll go watch it. It's a nightwave ship. Oh, okay, that's why everyone has it, and I don't. All right. So yeah, this was the map where I did not find extraction. So it's Nora night ship. Oh shit! Sweet. One thing which I find kind of quite curious about this event is that this is the first time that, well, Tenno are pretty much integral to an event. So I wonder, is this an event which only unlocks after you've done the second dream? Or does it unlock straight away? Because that's something which I find quite quite curious. Where I really like that you can use Tenno for this and that Tenno are the central part sort of thing. But uh, yeah. Gurren Lagann is okay, but the OC uh, is what saves the show. I really, really liked it. It's just... Oh, yeah. The OST, the soundtrack is so good. The the feeling you get from this is so good. I, I don't know. I, I would not say, oh, it's the, the storytelling is amazing, or this is amazing, or that's amazing. It's just It just works. For some reason, it works, and I, I, I enjoy it for it. And there we go. Orphan's destroyed. Sweet. So, yeah. You can enter the Necromech without the Operator? Really? Oh, that makes it sad, actually. I was really hoping that this would be the, the, the one moment that they did say, okay, Second Dream is actually not that hard to make. And then... We can finally move on. Tenno is the starting point, and we just move on sort of thing. But okay, I see. Um, I watched the whole series, actually. All I can say is you gotta watch it. I will. I will. But if you enter the Necromech without Operator, does that just mean that you press 5 or something and then you just f flip to another mode, to another place in the map and all of a sudden that right there is your Necromech? Hey, we have another one. I really like One thing which I really like about the Necromechs is that they're so big. It's just that I don't have my own, so I they're not really all that strong, my town is stronger. So I'm not really gonna use them for um, strength-wise, but I like the the visuals. I really, really do. One thing which I'm a little bit less of a fan of is the uh, is the height differences in maps, especially because parkouring with the operators is not a thing which I really enjoy to do. And there we go. We're back with battling again. Oh. 
with your Warframe close to the mech, just press 5. So what happens if you're... Uh, if you're not a second dreamer, and then you run into with your warframe into one of these orange fields, because if I run into this, I'm forced into my uh, into my tenno mode. What if you don't have a tenno and you don't have a necromech? Hey, hey Moa. Uh, because then you're just are you then teleported to the closest by necromech laying around or? That's something which I actually contest for myself, because all my Warframe accounts are uh, second pass, second dream. And there's another one. There's probably probably just warp to a mech. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad they're doing something with Tenos, though, because it's good. It's good. This is actually an event where I really enjoy that. It's just in the regular Warframe missions. I really enjoy its endurance. It's it, it's just long missions. And it's pretty much just, just go do something here. And then... Yeah, I don't know. So since he wants to make a quest for the new and, uh, and absurd and ultimately lazy long as waste time of a war, I wonder how Umbra would play into this. I really wonder if the new war is still going to happen, man. I'd say 50-50. Uh, they just they just make it and make it really good. Actually, no. I say 20% they make it and they make it really good. 30% no, 40% they make it and it's kind of mm, nah. And 40% they just say, oh yeah, it's done. And we're just like, wait, when? And they're just like, no, it's done. And yeah. Isn't this event ending the new war? See, that is what I've heard. That's what I've heard. They're like looking to end the new war and it hasn't even begun yet. It's so weird. So yeah. Steph, what's up, man? Ubu, Ubu, thank you so much for that Ubu Argon. I, uh, I found it in game today. I appreciate it. That wouldn't make sense in my opinion at the least. It wouldn't make sense for me at all, because they they teased up this insanely new war thing. And we haven't even gotten we, we haven't even gotten like a flicker of it, so. It's it, it hasn't been here. But it might just be that they're like, well, let's just So like they finished off Railjack, and Railjack um, or like they released Railjack and Railjack wasn't good, so maybe they're like, well, let us just, you know, avoid that negative hype sort of thing and just for, let them forget about it. Is it the same that D will never integrate Arcwing, Necromex, and Operators properly? Yeah. I think it's... Uh, it's it's whatever that uh, Arcwing is going away. Uh, sort of thing. Uh, these entire Arcwing missions, they're still in the game, but I think they're, they're, they're deleting them soon. I think the best integrated by far from all of these are Operators so far. Because even though you're not really going to do a mission with your Operator, it's going to be quite alright to just... Uh, Use them to replenish energy. No, I did not want to do that. I did not want to do that. For fuck's sake, no. Nope, 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 nope. I can't bash out of this. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, we're stuck in this. There we go. So I like how you have like the the dashes out of it sort of thing. Um Uh you can you can replenish your health, you can replenish energy with it. There's a lot of things that you can do with it. But uh yeah. So I think that that's the best integrated. Other than that, I think Necromex and Arcwing is still the least. I, I feel Arcwing is constantly being forced. And they never really found a good way where someone's like, fuck yeah, Arcwing. Because even Arguns, I don't like Arguns. So, because we haven't seen the town in ages, we haven't fought Era, Ballas is questionable, and we don't know how we would end this whole delay of a story. And if this is how we end the new war, this is stupid. Dude, it is. It really is. Because they've been prologuing and teasing the shit out of this for ages. Like, when was the last time we did the... Um, um, what, when did that thing come out? It was 2018 or 2017 or something when they did the um, the the Lotus betrays you thing. That was the moment where the story should have started, and it just was teaser and teaser and teaser. So I've stopped counting the teaser as like actual lore or something I pay attention to because it just teasers and teasers are garbage. So you better give me something interesting. Um, I'll, I'll I'll watch a full quest and I'll, I'll I'll take that quest as lore, but no teasers. I don't give a shit about teasers. Or like, oh, little quests that are hidden. Like that era quest or something, I don't even know what it did or what it said. And I don't think it's really relevant because it was hidden in, Ar in Railjack and Railjack is not relevant. <laughs> Which, ah, oh, shit. I, 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 okay, fuck it. I'm not saying this to be mean-spirited. I'm not saying this to be like, oh, I don't like Warframe because I'm actually quite enjoying this. And I'm quite enjoying this in a good way. It's not in the way that I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm back. I'm back doing Warframe full time. 
Uh, definitely not. But I am quite enjoying this. I am not saying this with any shade of feeling of negativity towards the EMI heart or Warframe. I quite actually enjoy this. Uh, it's not bad. But the thing is that it's kind of stupid. It's kind of stupid. This entire, like, the teaser are just garbage. I don't count era. I don't count anything that's... Offense as well. Fuck that. Especially when they were a railjack offense. No one gives a shit about that. Or at least I don't give a shit about that. Let me say that. Actually, it was teased in 2016 with the Tomb of the Sentient. God damn, that's a long time ago. That is a really long time ago. So yeah, that is that's that, that's just unfortunate. But yeah, it's it's what it is, and we've known about that forever. So I don't really mind all that much. It's it's what it is. Um, let me go see if I can. Hold on. Extend this a little bit. No, that's... Uh, yeah, that's fine. So, yeah. Um, our cranks are, 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 are now a cancer operator. I kind of forgotten that real Necromech and Realjack are questionable addition. Like, do we even need to remotely pilot the death machines or space that needs, needs four to operate? I think that the thing with all these things is that it's on paper it sounds really cool, but the integration is not that great. And I can I can, I'm gonna say that I can kind of understand where they're coming from, in the sense that there are many many times that I look at videos that which I can make and I'm like, oh man, that would be so cool. And I can even think about ways in which it would make sense for me to make these sorts of videos. Uh, but then I think about it some more and I'll spend time on it. And it just doesn't work out. And because it doesn't work out, um, I spend a lot of time making a video, which no one's gonna really watch, or people will look at it and are like, oh, that's cool, but then I will never work it out, so it's never gonna be very good. And then it will just be this thing where, because I made that, I did not make my actual content. And because I did not make my actual content, I shouldn't go and experiment even more because I should actually get back to make my actual content, but then I think about something else that's gonna be cool, and then that doesn't work out, and just kinda like, Build on Ruben sort of thing, so. I do like how they finally using transfer mechanics introducing the new war with the mechs. Fuck yeah! Malaki, you are 100% right. Whenever the new war came out and they let us transfer it into something else, I was so excited for it. I was really hoping that I could, like, transfer into things like enemies or something, control them for a little bit. Like, transfer into very simple things. I was so down for that. Uh, but then that really did not actually turn out to be the case. So that made me a little bit sad. And to see that come back, especially when it comes with, um... Uh, what is it? Uh, with Necromax, uh, and it came with the with that quest. I really, really enjoyed that. So, I really, I, I, I really think it's good that that came back. I know Destiny YouTubers are annoyed by a bunch of ignoring defense in the PvP department, but dog, they haven't seen what Warframe is like right now. I don't really know how to compare the two because Destiny just straight up deleted half their game, which people paid for, which is really, really shitty as well. So, I don't think Destiny has a really, really great play. It's, it's a really great, great alternative. Like, I enjoy Destiny. Don't get me wrong. But the thing is, is there is a matter of fact that people paid for DLCs that are now just straight up deleted because fuck it, why don't why 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 don't we just delete it? So yeah, I can understand, but ne but never pass through their head to actually compare with what the rest of the game. I don't really know what their development is like. Uh, I don't really know how they um, how they go about things because I don't know what their what their business floor is like. I've interacted with them a few times. I think I've seen their studio like like a quarter of the studio like once, but um. I never really was, was allowed to do like that many of uh, of these tours and things, so uh, I didn't really see much of it. Uh, that said, uh, I don't know. It's it's the way they operate their business. It's not how I would necessarily want to operate my business. I'm not gonna say that uh, that's not how I would operate my business because I don't know how I would operate a business like that because I haven't had the chance to. Uh, so it's just that on paper it doesn't seem like the best way of going about it, but I think they would see that as well, just like any other person would. Yeah. And that's why you should you, you don't play Destiny. I mean, I would not buy it. I would not spend money on Destiny. Uh, it's just the fact that I can get it through a Game Pass that I will play it. But yeah, both games have their issues. They definitely have. But then again, if you're running a game for so many years, is it a surprise that it's going to have issues? For sure it will have. Um, there is a bit of communication part of it, though. Hey, this is spawned right on top of it right here. So yeah. Bungie tried to make Destiny a PvP game mostly, but then scratched that plan after 
uh, act efficient, and they decided to pull a DE and focus on PvE mostly. But wasn't there, wasn't there, uh, what is it? Wasn't there a big problem with their uh, PvP where basically it would just broadcast your IP to everyone? Because that that seemed like a big issue when I when I learned about it. So basically, if you're doing PvP and Destiny, in order to connect, like your IP is pretty much exposed, and the hosting is not that great. I miss the time where where games were welcome one complete package from the get go. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima is an entirely really, really cool complete package from Gego. It's amazing. It's really, really fucking good. I really, really enjoyed that. It's fantastic. Get it. It's been a complete and utter fantastic triumph of a game right from the start. It's only gotten better with the multiplayer mode. I wish more player, pe more people would play that multiplayer mode because it's really, really good. I definitely think that Ghost of Tsushima is one of the champions when it comes to um, getting a complete package for the money that's worth. And it's probably also, right now... If you don't want to spend all that much on it, which I would, I would definitely recommend and get it from for from for, for like retail price because it's a hundred percent worth it. But if you don't want to do that, which I can understand because you know it's money, uh, you can get it probably secondhand for rather cheap because pretty much it's uh, like it's not the most well-known game, so people are not going to be selling it for a lot. So I can't buy uh, buy my Blu-ray player is dead. Oh shit, that really really fucking sucks actually. Um, I remember I did fix my Blu-ray player on the on the PS3. Back in the day, and it was like a fifty dollar fix. I don't know whether you can get it on the PS4. I, uh, but yeah, uh, I don't know if you've looked into it. Uh, sometimes a problem with like the Blu-ray. I don't know what your problem is. Um, there could be that your lens is just dirty, uh, which could be a very easy fix of just take it apart, um, get a Q-tip, get some cleaning alcohol, and just clean the lens, and that should that should do the trick. Um, if it's more seriously broken, most of the time there should be replacement parts to get by. And then if you get a replacement part, most of, most of the time it will be like 50 bucks or something. Which is, for the price of a PlayStation, it's... That's pretty alright. That said, if you don't use uh, the Blu-ray drive, it's probably also not going to be worth it. So it depends on how much like you use it. Um, but it is certainly accessible to repair. So yeah, um, yeah. Honestly, you think that's a problem. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's a problem much. However, stays is what is what's annoying pl uh, players. Plus, they don't balance both the PvP and PvE side. Uh, they're just mainly focused on PvP, uh, PvE now. Yeah, don't they have this weird thing right now where uh, the weapons, the uh, the weapon powers, like weapons, are just nerfed every single week, sort of thing. So you can't merge weapons together anymore that are the same, and the entire power system is just like massively, massively changed. Where weapons are no longer really very long relevant. Which just sucks for time investment. Ah, uh, fuck. That was bad. Oh, for fuck's sake! I really hate this this map right here. Orphix Phantom is the best event we've had in a while. Entirely. Entirely. This is really an event where I am... I, I started this up today. I started playing this today. And I was like, dude, I want to play Warframe. And that's been a while. That's been a while where I've actually just been like legitimately... Oh man, I'm excited for this. I want to farm this. So I'm really... I really think they did a good one on this. They I really think they did a good one on this. It makes me think of the good old days. It makes me think like... It hits all the right spots for me. And it's not that all that much special. I don't think there's... Much crazy things going on. Not anything we, like we haven't seen before. But it just works. It just works. And I think it's good that it works. And I really want to give them that. I also want to be fair enough that I'm like, hey, if their things don't work, I'll call them out. And if their things are really work, I'll definitely call them out too. So I looked into it uh, to replace the entire, the entire drive, which at a time would cost um, 300 money uh, on total, which would be more expensive. Uh, because this is the new crisis. That is true, though. That is very true. Um, because of Corona, a lot of parts and a lot of hardware has gotten more expensive. So, yeah, I kind of forgot about that. That is true. Which is very unfortunate. But yeah. So, yeah. Like, it actually gets difficult when you get to the higher levels with 100, lef 100 plus level sentience. Oh, shit. That sounds really dope. Um, and it's pretty rewarding. 
And if you look at the arcanes you can get, man. If you look at the arcanes you can get for, um, uh, for how low low uh, standing, but like, it's a really good deal. Um, the only thing that I have is that I think in the end Necromechs are supposed to be better for this than Tenno. But because I don't have my Necromech and my Amp is quite strong, I'll just Tenno this all the way. Uh, because I think it's a funny meme and at the same time, it's like, I'm just better at my Tenno than any Necromech that I'll pick up. Um, but other than that, it's quite good. Yeah, no, you can merge the same weapons uh, in terms of light level. Uh, and they do this thing called sunsetting where they just retire weapons and armor by making the light level cap... 1060 to prevent people from using old things in high level missions. That really, really fucking sucks, man. Because 1060 is, is nothing right now. That's a start of level, right? That is so unfortunate. That is power creep to the absolute max. And I know that people in Warframe have said power creep, but that, that Destiny part is really, really power creep, if I've ever seen it. So, we've already gotten 12 down. So that means we are... How many rounds in? Four. We're on a see. A rotation now. Okay, it is fireable again. 1060 is next to the lowest level. It is really just shitting on someone's time. Which I think is really, really bad. They shit on people's money for buying the DLCs. They shit on people's time. For trying to grind up weapons. It's it's just really unfortunate. So yeah. Yeah, the Necromechs on the ground are terrible. It's so much more fun more fun when you have your Necromech. Yeah, I, I need to get I need to get the pieces. I need to get the blueprints. But I never bought it with Damos all that much. So I don't have the parts to build them. Which is quite unfortunate. So I'm kinda like, well, I'll just stand on this because my beam is alright. As you can see. It does it. It it, it does what it needs to do. And I have people around here who are quite good with the with the Necromex, so. Nightwave standing! Woo! So by the way, one thing which I was curious about, yeah, you don't get you don't get yourselves from pickups. It's literally just from doing a mission. Uh, that was something which I was curious about. Whether it was like a pickup uh, sort of thing based on enemies or whether the Cells were just a uh, score-based thing at the end of the at the end of the mission. It seems to be a score-based thing at the end of the mission. So where is this thing? Oh, that way. And here we go. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. This new Talzad is really not made for Tenno. I know it's not made for Necromex. It's literally just a Warframe Talzad, which it is, so hey. <laughs> Good on it, but. Sometimes getting stuck behind something is so annoying. There we go, back to doing the damage again. Going invisible for a second so I can recharge my energy. And back to battling again. And going to fizz again. And there we go, he's dropped some of these things around here. Once more. Nope, please stay away from me. I'm a vulnerable little Tenno, so... Is this a pain to get your own Necromech? Yeah, that is unfortunate. So, the points to go up with how far you make it, and from killing sentience. Oh, Or from killing <laughs> sentiments. <laughs> I'm sure that is autocorrect, but uh, I love that it's just like, kill your sentiment towards, uh, towards something. It's like, I don't have a sentiment towards it anymore. I feel nothing. Can I get more points now? It's like, yes. In the middle of the new war, but we're still, where we at, we're fighting Corpus and Grenier while finding sentience. Yeah, because we're, we're not really in the new war yet, because we, we haven't even seen Tao yet. I was sure the new war would be fought in Tao, in like the, the new place where we would have new tile sets, so. But yeah. What makes sense to combine forces to fight the sentience? Who knows if we'll see that? I hope at some point. Uh, but yeah, I wish that the uh, the Necronex were a little bit easier to get. Just uh, and I and I know that's rich for me coming. Uh, who asked? Oh, I, I always said a lot of times. Oh, I wish Warframe would get uh, harder. Uh, but it's not really a matter of difficulty. It's more or less a matter of oh, you got to do the the, the demo stuff, which I'm not the biggest fan of. So we all know that Tenno is a graded thread. 
It is, for sure. I don't really think that New War really has really started. We just had a couple of prologues, and I don't think they would make an exclusive event part of a major quest. I really hope, I really hope not, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> I believe in the same thing. I believe in just in the same thing as you do, uh, but we'll have to see what they do. Wait, isn't the sacrifice the entire point to kill the Umbra sense, uh, sense, uh, sentiments? I felt this, uh, the, the sacrifice was the entire point to um, introduce Umbra because people wanted them so bad. Alright, time to go to Fizz. Oh, for fuck's sake! Get on there, man. Oh, man. This is like the most action my Tenno has ever seen, by the way. I I would really, really like to do this with Defton, actually. I don't know if I can get, get Defton as far to go and do a Warframe thing with me. But I think that this would be... Oh, man. This would have been so up his alley when he still did Warframe. Ah, uh, we have a new one. Defend hints at the quest, but isn't but isn't part of the quest. I think that's what makes the most, most sense. It really depends on what I want to do. Because... It might just very well be that it's just like Railjack, where what we've seen with Railjack is that they had a really cool idea for the Railjack, but it just did not work out and took so much time. And then when they released it, people just didn't quite like it because it didn't really work out. So they could then decide, like, do we move on with this thing? Do we continue to develop every uh, like everything for this thing to make it work? Or do we focus on something which may draw new attention? And it might just also be with the new war, hey, we can cut our losses because... They've gone to a point with a new war where I really wonder what the reaction will be. It, like, I feel I feel the new war will be a Cyberpunk 2077 story, where everyone was so excited about the 20 Cyberpunk that I was really, really wondering how it was going to be received, and it didn't. It wasn't well received by a lot of people. Yes, there were bugs. Yes, there were things wrong, but a lot of that was also amplified because I do think that behind uh, Cyberpunk, behind some of the bugs and glitches, there was a pretty decent, good, good-looking game. A pretty decent good story. I'm right in the middle of it right now. Uh, and so far, I'm enjoying it. I don't see much bad, of, bad about it. So, it could very well be that they announced this in 2017, I believe? I think 2017 was the first time they hit that, or 2018. Uh, so, it's been years that this thing has been in the making. Uh, so, they could also just be like, hey, uh, people have been expecting this forever. Their expectations are going to be insanely high. We had something in mind, but it, it doesn't quite work out. So... Yeah, you know, we're also going to have Plays of the Fury, which we announced at some point, which, uh, yeah, you knows where that is. So let's just, you know, we'll, we'll just call some offense, and then with those offense, we'll just be like, yeah, this is it. This is this is what we said all along, and it's going to be over. And, I, like, I really don't know, but that could also just be the case. I ain't going to be hyped for Warframe when the quest comes out. I'm just going to go in with an analytical eye. I think everyone is, because uh, we've all learned, in a way. So, yeah, wasn't Real Jack Cyberpunk 2077? Sort of. So yeah, Orphix Founder has the uh, tra uh, transmissions at a new ward and sends us a hidden message, but I think it's just to hype us up for, for a little what's to come. It's probably... That could be. I feel, personally, but that's again for me, like, being, being with this game for eight years. I feel it's more or less a, oh, yeah, we haven't forgotten. No, uh, we haven't forgotten. We still think about it. Oh, uh, boo-boo. We're, we're still thinking about it. Boo, don't worry about it. But yeah, I do like how they seem to be affording hyping us up with Deimos now, but only showing us what they actually have successfully made. I think that's really, really good. Um, again, I don't know the development process, so I don't know what, what, how exactly it works behind the scenes. I do know from having talks with some of the devs, having talks with like some of the people in person, that they were like, um, after Tentacon, like, Steve would literally just be in a restroom with us, and we'd be like, well, let's do Q&A, and let's talk about whatever the hell, like... What do you want to know about Railjack? And we'd ask about Railjack and everything was possible. And like everything was like, yeah, that sounds really, really cool. I want to do that. And yeah, def that's definitely something we we want to have down the pipeline. And I think well, it wasn't so much a thing of bad will or ill intent or not wanting to make it happen. It was just more like, oh, that sounds really, really cool. And then later on figuring out like how it works out. Um, so it's probably they started with this game. And this is all this is all speculation, and I don't know how far this how far this is right or how far this is wrong because I can't see in their minds. But I feel seeing how the progression of the game has gone is that they started out with something where they had some idea, but they didn't know how well it was gonna work. And then it worked out quite well, and they actually made some money that their studio could grow, and it wasn't the like edge of bankruptcy anymore. 
And then they were like, oh, well, let's let's try and experiment with this a little bit. And they tried to experiment with it, and they tried experimenting with this quest, and the quest really turned out very, very, very well. That was the second dream. And they were like, let's let's get a little bit more ambitious. And they, they tried to warp it in. And it, did, it, took, it took a little bit longer, but at the end of the day, it was quite well. People quite liked it. And they got more experimental, they made, made an open world, and people really, really liked that. It was really, really fucking like that. And they were like, well, let's get more experimental. And every single thing that they thought was going to be a great idea, they would just bring up to the table and be like, oh man, guys, look at this, this is a really great idea. Without, for, without like trying to figure out how to make it actually work. And then when they actually had to make it work, it took so long that all these things where they had brought up of like, oh, this is going to be really, really cool. Uh, didn't really end up being really, really cool, but more really, really delayed. Like, Planes of the Free still needs to come out at some point. Uh, New War hasn't been out for a long time. There's a lot of things which are just still on the backlog. But should not be on the backlog at some point. So I think that they've learned from that, where they're like, well, it's not really good to hype things up and then not have them come out, because that kind of creates not very good press. So let's just make sure that all these ambitious projects, which we really want to make, like, we get them out at some point, but before we can get them out, let's actually make sure that we create something which looks somewhat decent. Uh, and I think Deimos is a really safe bet. Because who knows what Planes of the Freebie was? Who knows what uh, uh, New War is going to turn out to be? Who knows how much people even like the New War? So let's go and make something which is a new open world, which is a safe bet. Because we've done that before. People like that. Uh, let's make it the best open world we've done so far. And then let's see how people will fight with that. And people fight with that. All right. Not, not too crazy insane because after all, it was still another open world. But overall, people fight with it okay. It was a better launch than Railjack. So they went with that. And now, I think, they still have to make good on all the promises they made. But in the meantime, they can't just do all these insane promises if the reason why they're not able to deliver on them is because they're so fucking tough to do. And they really didn't think it through. So then they have to do some things in between, which are more easier to do, and they don't hype it up because they're like, well, if we hype this up, people are not going to believe anything that we say about it. So let's just be like, well, yeah, it's uh, it's here. We announced that it's here. And I think it's a good, a good approach. So, yeah. Um, yeah, they wanted to do the thing, so they showed the demos of it, and when it doesn't work out, then people get disappointed. I think I think the, the biggest disappointment comes from if they go on TennoCon and they show a trailer of it and be like, Oh yeah, this is this is entirely what's going to happen. And then it doesn't happen. I think that that is a bit where you get people. If it's like, hey, we're just demoing with something, and it looks pretty cool. We don't know if it's going to work, but like, look at this demo. It's pretty cool. Then people will be more forgiven sort of thing. Um, to just be like, oh yeah. Oh no, let's let's see whenever it comes around. But when you're kind of selling it as like, oh yeah, there's gonna be the next big thing in Warframe, and it's like it's not the next big thing in Warframe. So, yeah, I trust the new war will be a good uh, will be good as a quest, but I don't think it will ever live up to the hype unless it brings some actual end game content like raids. Yeah, I like I really know what to expect from it. I'm not gonna have expectations from it. We'll see. I'm really curious if it even comes out when it comes out and if it comes out what it will look like. So yeah. Also, we're doing pretty bad on this one. I'm not quite sure, though. It is just I played it off as what, what it already is instead of just a demo. Yep. If they had been more upfront about some, some certain things, then that would have really, really helped. Um, but upfrontness isn't necessarily their thing, which is quite which is quite funny. Because they do have this entire stigma as a developer. It's like, oh, yeah, they're super open. They're super, like, um, transparent. And they are to some extent, but also to some extent they are. So... Remember Revenant's concept, vampire sentient, sentient at first? We don't know how a sentient works. Oh yeah, Revenant was a really, really cool sentient. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, did you, uh, so let's see. I hate the infestation redesign of demos. What do you don't like about it? Because I think some of the designs on demos are actually not that bad. I quite like them. The infested are have a more coral aesthetic uh, to them, and they change it to more... Eldritch Sandals and Insect-like? Yeah, they definitely turned a more insect rug. They definitely did that. Um, I personally don't mind so much for, for the Moon of Demos, uh, but... Uh, I can see how the design is different. I think another thing which plays a little huge part for people, but I don't know, Malaki, how you, how you feel about it, right? everyone else in chat. Um, Malaki, actually, how long, have you, how long have you been doing Warframe? Um, I'm quite curious. Um, because what I remember very fondly about the days where I really, really, like, could not get get enough of this game um, was, at that point, uh, it was really, like, the early updates of Warframe where there were no cinematic quests. The really early updates of Warframe where there was not all that insane stuff and hype going on. And around that time, what I clearly remember about it 
Also, I think it's better, like, we better get out of this now. Um, is that every single update would advance the game. It would progress the game. So the, the second ring was, like, the latest quest. You have, to, you have to be caught up with everything if you wanted to do the second ring. So everyone felt like they were... Uh, the next thing would be an improvement for the game. It would be an upgrade. And I feel that right now, especially if you look at something like Deimos, for example... Demos is very much a side grade, where they don't really mention the Tenno, they, they're, they're kind of afraid to mention it because what if the players haven't done the second dream yet? And because of that, it doesn't really feel like it has progress as much as like it's kind of like stagnated and try to expand. I think that's something which also plays a big part for people where they're like, well, you know, when is the progression actually coming? And New War seems for people to be like the only actual form of progression. But yeah, uh, after, this, uh, after this one is down, I'm getting the fuck out. Because we are definitely losing that one. Unless we... Uh, okay. Uh, extract. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, we're on 50%. We're not going to be able to get out of here now. Uh, which way do we need to go? I really don't know. Uh, map is... That way. Oh, for fuck's sake, man! I'm trying to get out of here! How do we get out of here? Oh yeah, this is a stupid map again. I don't know how to get out of this map. This is the worst po possible map in existence. Alright, how do we get out of this map? I think this way. Come on, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Um, this map is really, really bad for extraction. Like, extraction is right there. I don't know which way to go. I think I'm going the wrong way now. Uh, but I really, really hate the stories. This is a really, really bad map. I know that the sign looks great, but like practical, it's really, really bad. Especially for an event like this. And especially when they instantly kill you when um, it's up to 100%. That is really, really fucking bad, and I really, really hate this sign. If we're going to lose this, I'm going to... Oh, fuck. I really don't want to lose this. But if we lose this because of this, I'm going to be kind of mad and kind of pissed. Because I want to get the fuck out of here. I don't want to be stuck in this stupid map. I want to get to extraction. And because they don't have this, re this, this really cool thing where you can extract with your squad. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are we gonna lose this? We're gonna fucking lose this. Oh, for fuck's sake. How, how the fuck do I get out of this? Oh, fuck. Okay, okay, okay. We can actually we can actually get out of here. Okay, that's good. That is fucking good. I'm glad about that. Oh, man. I thought we were, like, I, I've had I've had experience twice where, like, this would instantly fail the mission. And I was not ready to instantly fail the mission after 20 Orphix destroyed. I'm sorry, but I was, oh, there we go. We found it. I'm sorry about that, but that was just... Uh, fuck. So, yeah. Speaking of which, they need to renew the new player quest. The fuck? When did that happen? I don't think it's the map. It's a terrible waypoint, and it 100% does not mean you failed the mission. I've had it a couple times, so maybe that was because I was in the earliest stages. So, I've seen it a couple times where it hit 100. It was like, mission failed. I was like, fuck, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I was like, really, really not prepared to do that. So, um, but yeah. Um, it is uh, waypoint for sure. It is waypoint for sure. But also, this map is very layered. Without stairs in between, I really don't like that. Uh, that's just my orientation. It's especially when there's like, if you see that chip map where it's like you have sometimes three levels, and the only way to get there is like double jump. So just a single jump, but double jump. So if you want to go, if they say it's left, it might be left up or left down. So yeah, it only feels you haven't got over three or fixed killed. Okay, that's uh, that's good to know. And there we go, we have 500 uh, face excel, so that's good. I like that. Um, yeah. Oh, so did I just post that to a theme? No, I wanted to post it to the squad chat. Woo! <laughs> Uh, anyway, I think was the only one I would listen. Big Shot, what's up, man? How's it going? Good to see you. Um, so yeah, let's see. Um, but yeah, they need. Uh, we we do still need the the, the new player quest. Uh, actually, let's let's continue on. Let's do this again. Um, because I just need a bunch of points. Uh, twelve hundred. I don't even have enough to get the blueprint for the for the warframe. Okay. Uh, let's see. Because the infested in the derelict is part of the original technocide, which is more like trees and plants looking. And the other strains got more towards the style you dislike. But I don't remember the infested having a different design. But maybe that's because I haven't been around long enough. Like, I don't, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It's it's only on demo so far, so it's fine. I think. Because it's like, that comes from a Rogan. Um, so this is a war within. Everything feels like a bunch of side quests. And that, uh, that, in, uh, that end in nothing. Like, we are playing a fucking slice of life. Yeah, I, I, can, I can see that. Uh, what about the Chains of Hyrule and the Sacrifice? So, Chains of Hyrule was a really, really good one. I, like, you got a really, really good point out. Chains of Hyrule was the fucking best quest ever. Sacrifice was alright. The thing with the Sacrifice is that, uh, the Sacrifice was... Again, like, this is, this, uh, this has been pretty much because people have... 
uh, if you have lift fruit sort of thing, uh, when that came out, it's kind of you, uh, um, like this is the, this is the sentiment that comes with the, with the sacrifice. I believe that the sacrifice was supposed to be the closing of the trilogy of um, the war within, uh, the, uh, no, the secondary in the war within the sacrifice. And I felt that the sacrifice was supposed to be Stoker's story. Uh, but they changed it into Umbra, and they had to work in Umbra because basically what they did, they launched Warframe China. Uh, for Warframe China, they need to have a new Finders Axis. And for that, they couldn't use Excalibur Umbra because Excalibur Umbra is contractually exclusive to the Warframe founders. So they needed to do something else. So they made Excalibur Umbra, which was Excalibur Prime but not Excalibur Prime. And then the global Warframe players started complaining that they wanted to have Excalibur Umbra because they did not have Excalibur Prime or they just wanted Excalibur Umbra because they wanted another one. So then they had to figure out a way to implement Excalibur Umbra. And the way to implement Excalibur Umbra was uh, let's make a quest which like explains why there's only one Umbra and not more Umbras. And So it kind of feels... So the sacrifice didn't really feel like a fallout quest. It didn't really feel like a entry in the Warframe universe. More like, hmm... But how can we work in this one thing which everyone demanded, which we didn't originally want to add in? Uh, I think that's what a lot of people feel when it comes to, or that's what the sentiment is for some experienced or veteran players um, about it. So that's kind of like why the sacrifice is often left out after the war within, uh, because it doesn't really feel like a continuation of the strategy, more like, oh, uh, let's tell Umbra's story. Uh, it's also like, actually, uh, th that's also part of it too. It tells Umbra's story, it doesn't really focus on us. And the moment it starts to focus on us, but the moment it starts to focus on things that are relevant to us, so the Lotus, the it ends and it never continues for another three or four years. So, um, yeah. Um, but the change of era was absolutely amazing. I really wish we had more of that. I really, really like that. Uh, so yeah. It only fails if you haven't uh, if you haven't unlocked anything yet. Okay, that's good. I uh, I can do it at one piece then. Um, I wish uh, D expanded the tile systems. Is this a new game? I don't think I've seen it before. Mm, yeah, it's some sort of like free to play game about like uh, Space Ninjas. Uh, I don't know if you'll like it. It might be an Xbox, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, I definitely wouldn't have bought like uh, all the consoles for it, which I definitely have. <laughs> so yeah. Um, Albert's exclusive to China as Prime was uh, the founder's exclusive. Yep. The Sacrifice is part of my favorite main quest, and I do think it closes the Trinity well. There, like, it definitely has some good points. Um, I do like how it goes into um, into like a single story of like a single like 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 it gets the Warframe's personality, and I enjoy that because I always felt the Warframe's had personality, and they were kind of shoved off as oh they're just machines, and they don't feel. Even though when Warframe started, it really felt as though Warframes were the thing that you related with and it wasn't this weird kiddo sort of thing so it also had discount warhammer 40k uh there's actually there actually there's two excalibur umbras one is prime and the other isn't oh yeah the prime one uh we have a new one here oh let's go down here So yeah, I think for me, if, if I think back of the sacrifice, I remember that I really enjoyed the story until the very end when they came in with the with the Lotus thing. Uh, so basically what it was, was that uh, what we had was we had the teaser for the Lotus leaving us. At the start of the year before, so we had to wait an entire year for the sacrifice. And then the sacrifice came out and we we're like, finally, we're going to have this thing resolved. And finally, we're going to have, have to have, 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 uh, get rid of Glitch Lotus. And then uh, this entire thing was about Excalibur Umbra. And then the Lotus came in at the last second and we were like, oh, this is going to take years. And we were right because after that, no real quest came after. So... I actually like the fact that we have a deck soldier as a Warframe. I just wish they went more into his backstory a little more and what it looked like, how his friendship with Ballas was like, and his full name. Yep. Though I, the, 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 the soundtrack was amazing. They had a really good soundtrack for that. I really, really enjoyed that. Um, they also had some of the, the the styling really, really down. I really enjoyed that too. The um, the moment where there was the, the 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 take your pain away sort of thing. That moment that was really, really awesome too. 
So it really, really had its moments. It wasn't a bad quest. But there were moments where it was, uh, to some people, not considered to be the real for entry of the strategy for speci specific reasons, which I think do hold some error too. That said, like this is this is like I, I think the last time that I have really enjoyed playing Warframe this much, uh, like this was uh, Fortuna. I think literally the last time I did this was Fortuna. Because we obviously know Teshin, but it would probably be interesting if they actually had Teshin showing that backstory to see what Umbria and Teshin were like to each other. Sacrifice, a uh, good point, you Amelia Balas. Oh man. I feel Balas is a little bit underexplored. In the sense of, I really don't know what the fuck's going on with that guy. Like, he took the Lotus away, which was really interesting, and then he showed up and he wanted to take down Umbra. But I wasn't quite aware at what point I was, but he, he seemed like this very formidable foe. And then we stab him, and then he's not really dead because he gets taken away, and then he just shows up in teasers, and I don't really know what the deal is with him. Even though he seemed to be this this very almighty enemy that we were going to have a huge saga with, so. Balas is my Snoke. Fortuna was the last time I played Warframe, and I haven't played any of the new content since. Oh man, oh man, oh man. So this offender right here is quite a red, actually. Uh, it does involve Necromex, but I can Tenno it. So I really enjoy Tenoing it. So it's kind of like my uh, Tenno Defton time to uh, to play Warframe. Um, I don't really enjoy the, the Deimos content, but I do enjoy this. This is good. This is good. I like this. And I don't necessarily know where it's from because it is just on like a regular tile set sort of thing. Not even the tiles that I like the most. It's also not really on the... In a way where I'm like, oh yeah, they really did something special here because it's just like a survival sort of thing while you're trying to blow things up. Which they definitely have done before in certain variations. But I just enjoy this. I really do. So yeah. So yeah, at first we're going to have to actually be Umbra's son. But they changed that because they didn't want the story to be too condensed. Tessian to be Umbra's son, that would be so interesting. Ah, another one is on. So yeah. Wouldn't, uh, would, would have actually made sense if they had a relationship for military ranking. It would have been really cool to have that extra layer. Then again, I can also appreciate it being separate because I remember when Deimos came out and I thought that was going to be connected to Ballas, that we were going to learn more about Ballas and Ballas would be playing a part in it, and it wasn't. And at the first, I didn't quite like that because it was like, I want to know more about Ballas because it's been such a long time since we've seen something about Ballas. At the same time, I can also really appreciate that, you know, it's going to be weird when um, every single occurrence of a single species sort of thing it contains only this, the same family. Like, the world may, is, is going to be really, really small by that point. If all the Dax you see are related to Teshin, all the... Uh, um, uh, what is it? All the sentients you see are related to Lotus. All the, um, uh, Orokin you see are related to Balas. Like, that, that, that will just, it's gonna be so small. And it will be really nice, really, it's, it's also really, really nice if you have families of the same thing, of Orokin. We just don't know each other because the Orokin are rather fast and not every, every single human knows each other. Not every single human is, like, family of each other. So it's weird if that's the same thing in the story, so... Um, I think he wants us to think he's weak. He knows that we're gonna stab him. I think he's playing with us. After all, did he, um, he did play the other executors into creating the sentience in the first place. And he portrays the or Orokin to the sentience. I think he has a plan all along. I think so too. But um, I really wish they just hurried up with it. In the sense of... Um, it's been too long for me to like actively keep track of what's going on. So the last thing which I'm really, really aware of is that now he is some sort of like... BDSM slave for the Lotus or something, and he's gi he's given us that paracesis. Other than that, I know very little about him. Um, I know that he has occurred in some couple in a couple more instances, but I'm not quite sure when or what the meaning of that was, because um, it was the so many teaser, and I just stopped involving myself with it. So, so yeah. Uh, Baz is a manipulative double crosser that fucked uh, that fucked everything up because he wanted to get revenge. It could be either way. It, it depends on how they write it. I can also see them do that. So yeah. 
The Orokian Warren says aren't human. That's good, because not every single species has to be human. Um, debatable, because the timeline in Warframe is confusing. It definitely is. It 100% is. Um, you should watch the prologues after this quest. Then there first needs to be a quest out. Uh, yeah, but we don't know if he would have been alive, but I'm just making this assumption considering Umbra was the first Warframe. So I remember making an entire like lore video about um, the sacrifice because it was very unclear when things happened. Uh, so depending on like when things occurred, it would have different implications, meaning the Lotus and the way that. Um, but like yeah, they're they're rather unclear about it. So you're welcome, or post-human. So yeah, I really really hope that 2021 is 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 the, is the year of war from again. I really hope they come out with, with the new war. I really, really hope they come out with some insane quests and they finish up the things that they uh, promised to do and they're going to start building onto their game again. Like, that would be amazing. I would love that. Alright, another one down. Gotta stay hidden a little bit. And another one down. I'll just focus on like taking down sentience, because I know that that also helps with points. Um uh, the old war took years because how much shit uh, happened, how it hit the fan. I feel it would be acquiring shame to, to end the new war sort of thing. I, like, I really hope that a new war will come out and it will contain us going to the Tau system, which will be a brand new sort of system sort of thing. Because I feel the new war really has to be significant. Then again, I don't want to have hopes up because I know that that will be hype. Uh, but I do think that... Given how the old war was what created the Tenno, what created this entire solar system to be in the disarray that it is right now, created the entire premise of this game, that was the old war. To make something called the new war, I think that would be different. So yeah. would have to be more. Uh, I guess the vanilla variants were made first too, plus they were bad at prototypes after the Necromex. Uh, where is this leading up to? See, this is also a point in the map where I'm like, well, is there a door on the left-hand side which is, like, down under, or is it, like, the upstairs? Oh, wait, it's this way. There are uh, ambiguous hints, but I think the one that states is when the hill says uh, the Prokin should rule because humans will always be ignorant. Alright, let's see. This way? Oh, no. We're the wrong way. Need to go that way. I keep following the, the extraction point, which I should not. Um... Then again, now where is this point? Oh, this way. This door. Found it. Woo! And here we are. Well, I kind of think it works more like a social class. You already came from humans, but they, they just believe they're above... Um, they're above everyone else. I mean, they're called Orokin, which is like gold people, so... They definitely have some sort of complex. They definitely do. Let's see, possibly... I don't know that the Grineer are humans tr are from indefinitely. Uh, I do know that the... Uh, the Grineer are from humans indefinitely. The Grenier do stem from humans, I think, yeah. But the timeline is a little bit strange. And there we go. Because they don't really want to refer to things in this game by, like, the, the official name sort of thing. So. Nihil was a massive hypocrite, so, I, uh, so you can't trust him. It's so weird because, like, uh, uh, Tyrannus is, is now called Nihil Eel or something. Uh, with whatever uh, Ephim calls himself now uh, in the Discord. So every single time I see Nihil, I, I feel like you're, you're all talking about, uh, about Tyrannus. I'm like, wow, wow, that is bad to say about Tyrannus. What do you have to bet against Tyrannus, man? But then I remember it's probably some, someone from Warframe who I haven't gotten much clue about. So. 
Nihil also says that human nature proves that why the Orokin are correct. Alright, that one's down. Oh, Bowen says it's again. Ray charge and back to firing again. Fuck it, uh. I'm calling them both Nigel, sounds like it. <laughs> but Orokin implies they are a family who has Oro. Um, which I don't think that most Orokin have Oro. Um, I'm sure that the Emperor's uh, title also have Oro. Uh, Orokin actually comes from uh, gold people. I'm pretty sure. So that's why they have like this this insane complex because they're just calling themselves gold, the gold people. Um, let me see whether my computer will give a fuck to actually uh, show this to you. It will take a while. My uh, computer is a low, is a is a bit slow, so. say we're immortal because many ten have died before we just don't really age we don't we just don't age really um uh let me get to let me get to the thing right here i'll i'll, I'll grab this in a second Tenno can die but only for something else um with an oro but nigel got back by his uh got backstabbed by the orokin Is this from like the comics or something, or is this from the uh, the codex entries? Oh, it's from the glassmaker thing. Oh, I see. It's from Nightwave. Yeah, I did not do that. The thing with Nightwave that, 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 that got me away from it was was that entire searching thing and then getting the glass things and stuff. I really didn't, did not bother with that. I was fine with collecting standing over time, but um, when it got to that searching thing, you got to remember it is, and then I was like, nah, I don't care. So yeah, the aura is pretty much a manifestation of the soul in the void. We don't know much about it yet, but I imagine it will be very relevant in the future with the Deferi Paradox and stuff that are in the void. I'm really curious about the Deferi Paradox, how they're going to handle that and what that will look like. Will that be another open world? An open world in the plains? Will that be something else? I really don't know. I hope we'll see that this year. Gotta recharge, and there it's done. All right, this way. Uh, where do we go? Up here. Woo! Oh man, this is like this is so this is such a nostalgic feeling, man. It's not nostalgic enough that I'm like, oh man, oh man, think about the good old days. It's like it's like when I was a child, but it does feel good. It does feel good to, to play again. The Tenno are immortal like vampires. As long as you're not killed by the only way they can kill you, you're practically immortal. Technically, but I mean... Oh, fuck. I'm going towards construction again. Because I'm following the wrong thing. I mean, technically, you're immortal too. Until you get killed by the thing that, that can kill you. Which is either going to be disease or things break in or people stabbing you or shooting you sort of thing. Other than that, you're not going to be killed by other things. So you're immortal, or immortal from them. It depends on the aging process, though, because I wonder how Tenno age. I hope we'll see that with the Fairy Paradox.
Because the Tenno there did seem to be a bit older at that point. Alright, it's opening up again. Oh! And it's done. Amprex is still one of the best guns in the game. Fucking love it. Woo! And no need to go down there. Let's just skip right past this place. I'm guessing that the Fury Paradox is going to be at least one to two years after New War, but I do think that Man in the Wall is relevant to New War because of talks about the Void and the Void eyes on the top battles and ourselves. I'm... Uh, yeah. I, I don't want to do too much speculation! Urgh. Everyone, we're immortal. If everyone's immortal, then no one's immortal, are they? Actually, no, they are. Actually, no. At that point, if everyone's immortal, then no one is immortal. Because technically, like, no one will have a concept of mortality. So, Mika! You actually made it this time. I'm proud of you, man. <laughs> How's it going, dude? But immortal can only be killed by unnatural causes, while mortals can die from natural causes, like a trip and hitting the head. I mean, is that really natural? Is that really natural that you trip and hit and hit your head? Did nature design us that way? For example, in the third new war part, Bellas had a fo the foy died during the cutscene. Is that a teaser trailer somewhere or something? If someone has it on YouTube, um, I'm quite curious to see. Yeah, how's it going, Mika? How are you doing? Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, which button is that? Oh, it's control. Alright, gotta go kill some sentients here. Oh, you're some sort of portal sentient! How fucky of you! You're bringing in new sentients! Actually, I've never seen that design before. That is so cool. Yeah, actually, hitting the head is natural. I mean, hey, I'm just asking questions. There's no stupid questions, is there? Alright, you go down. Open a codex and watch the cutscene. Is it the codex? Era. Alright, uh, let's watch that once this, o this is over. Um... All right, here we go. This way. Ah, shit, I'm done. Boom. There we go. I'm alive! I'm glad to hear you're alive, man. I'm glad to see you alive. I'm glad to experience you alive. Uh, there's one. A theme in that Necromac. Oh boy. Alright, let's get up here. And go here. It's interesting to hear the name Mika in, Des in a Destiny 2 lore. Is there a Mika in Destiny? For real? Although this Mika's got two dads. What? There is Mika in Destiny? Dude, is Mika in Destiny like a playable or interactable character? I'm gonna see Mika in Destiny. Mika, you're famous! You're famous in Destiny! What's gonna happen next with Destiny, man? Tell me. Tell me more about it. What's your... What, what's the plan of my Destiny and your Destiny and our Destiny? Now I wanna play Destiny. <laughs> See, that is the best tactic with when it comes to uh, when it comes to just designing games that people want to play. Just give it all sorts of names, so like one person will have their name in that game, and they'll just play that because their name is in the game.
Then again, why do people play Among Us? Because their name is not really in the game. Unless your name is like Blue or something. No, your name is in the game. Now, if Miko was a little kid, it became an EXO, I believe. But can we engage with them? Can we interact with them? Can we meet them? Can we see them? Is there a depiction of this Mika? This so-called Mika person? Well, so where was I killed by? That was weird. Oh, fuck. I forgot. I um, hit the wrong button. Pretty sure that if I... Uh, so Mika is dead? Oh, no! Mika can't be dead. Mika's here. In a way, yes. But in a way, no. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's that's exactly the, the phrasing of yes, but actually no. I fucking love that shit. Like Astro, uh, Astro Boy dead, I believe. Well, it does mean he's in some way alive, right? I don't want my Mikas to be dead, alright? I need my Mikas to be alive. Like my Mika and Temtem, which is the most amazing Mika. Why are the frames just sitting there? Because this is a Tenno Defson thing. This is like you, you play as your Tenno. That is that's the entire thing. This this event is literally if Tenno Defton was still alive, the rebirth of his channel. And like I really really hope that he like I like I don't know what I need to do because I think I will have to do a lot to convince him to try and do a war from again because it's been a long time with him, um, just like it has been with me. But. This is his event. This is literally his event. This was this his channel was all about Tenno shit. His channel was all about Warframe playing this as a Tenno, and that is what this event is all about. I mean, you can also play as Necromex, but Tennos are way cooler because they're Tennos. And this game is at the end of the day called Bor Tenno. So, um, well, I was meant to play as Necromex, but Tenno is easier because uh, if you want to play as a Necromex, like um, you're gonna have to do demos, and I don't feel like doing demos. <laughs> So, well, Mech and Tenno. So Tenno are way easier to eat in the lower levels. If you build your own Necromech, it's probably going to be powerful. Uh, more powerful, but yeah. Also, I'm running towards the extraction point again. So, I'm six months sober from Warframe. Woo! Yeah, I just I just broke my sobriety. Uh, it, was too, it was too appealing. So, yes, because Exos are basically mixed with Fex Fluid and Darkness, but also a brain scan copy of that deceased person. Oh, so that's why... That's why our evil boo boo person uh, is no longer an evil boo boo person, but then the happy baba person. That's an accurate depiction of the the destiny lore, and I'll fight anyone who says that it isn't. That would be difficult to play as only Tenno. Uh, I guarantee you, you will not be able to make it to the full 36. Full 46 what? So am I evil or good? I don't know. Um, I'd say you're chaotic neutral. Oh, you mean in Destiny? <laughs> Speaking of damage, did you know that the low level bounty is harder than the middle level bounty? What? Wow, that makes a lot of sense. Probably because a lot of people just like do the low level bounty because whenever they feel like, oh, we have to do a bounty. Yeah. You're good actually. Just made from Fex Fluid and Darkness. <laughs> Is that also the case in real life? Or is that just a the case in Destiny? Plus you have no career, no recollection, no recollection of your previous life. Just like you have right now. I mean... Uh... Games. Alright, got him. Um... So yes, but no. Just no. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm done. Wait, this is a new one, isn't it? Which one were we doing just a second ago? Uh, this one here. High level damage bounty is best because you get to max standing in one bounty if you trade with grammar properly. Yeah, the tokens just did it for me. I wasn't a big fan of the tokens and uh, the missions. I, I like I've done so much of Fortuna and planes that I just did not feel like doing bounties again. Um, maybe at some point. Maybe this will get me back in. I don't know. We'll see. Come on, thing, go down! 
The tokens make it way better. Uh, I don't... Partly and partly not. So, the thing that really makes tokens better is that it allows you to keep on playing. There is no standing cap. So if you wanna if you wanna like dedicate an entire weekend to it and just get up everything, it's like you can fucking do that. The thing which is problematic with the tokens uh, for me is that it requires you to do like the stupid activities like fishing and mining. Uh, because you need to rank up, you need to have so many dad tokens, you need to have so many son tokens, you need so many daughter tokens, and I just don't feel like that. I have done fishing and mining in two open worlds and that's just been too much for me. I I, I don't like that anymore. Uh, this is gameplay which I really really like. Planes gameplay, I don't really like. Um, so that's that's where tokens are in the greatest for me. Um, I can definitely see their appeal. And if I could just rank up to the max and get everything with just mother tokens or something, I would be 100% down for it. But I'm not going to do mining or fishing and that sort of thing. I just don't feel like it. So yeah, it's because of... Uh, let's see... Because it doesn't become so rewarding if you hit the standing cap, uh, and because it gives you more standing than both planes of Fortuna. It's because the drills die quicker and the grenade defense target kills faster, so it's hard to actually not fail. Plus the 10 LBA being affected by the void. The Vulcan never shared the similarities. They changed up the rank up requirements so you don't need many of the extra tokens. Also you can trade with the normal tokens to the weird ones, um, without having to do any side activities. I might try it at some point. So you can max with pure modern tokens. If I can get everything with just modern tokens and doing basic bound basic bounties and I don't have to be in demo so much, I'll try it again. I'll give it another shot. See, this is one thing which I do like, because it is really getting back to Warframe. Who knows how long I keep this up, but I quite enjoy it. Uh, I just hate the bounty system. I know that that's a shared opinion by many as well. Alright, there's one right here. Oh, for fuck's sake, that was up there. No way, I'm not gonna get there anymore. Ah, so close. Squishy Ash. It sure is. But that, that that's why I chose Ash for, uh, Ash for this, because uh, this event barely requires a Warframe. It's mostly just Tenno, so that's why I just know that Ash will like die four times or something. So... I thought it would just be better to choose Ash in this point. Um, it's actually better than all the open worlds in that sense, because you can get fishing and mining stuff without doing fishing and mining. Uh, you can get that on Fortuna too, uh, with the, uh, what is it? Um, spider. But yeah. I'm nearly falling asleep. Dude, enjoy your sleep. Sleep is important. Let me not resist your sleep, because it is... Sleep can be really, really nice and really, really annoying at the same time, <laughs> to be honest. Because, like, I really, really enjoy sleeping in the sense of just giving my body some rest, just getting back to it sort of thing. At the same time, I also really, really hate it when I, like, want to get things done. And when I'm in the mood of, so, like, in when I'm, when, I'm, like, when I'm, like, in the flow, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, no, I gotta sleep now because I'm really, really breaking up. Uh, yeah, that is a moment where I'm like, I don't like sleep all that much. So... All right, we gotta recharge my thing. I think I'm gonna do this all by myself here. It's still early, it's 5.31, damn. The video, what's up? What brought you to this Necromeca fan? Uh, I, I've made a video about it. I was like, let me, let, like, I know there's a, there's an event going on, let me go make a video about it. And I actually quite liked it. And I was like, let me go do this to go and try and get that, uh, get that Warframe. And uh, now I'm doing it. So, and it's also just like Tenno mode. And hopefully, like, I don't know if it's ever going to be possible to get Tenno Defson in here again. But uh, this was going to be entirely his offend. 
Hey, an orphan is destroyed. Good job, guys. I'll keep on trying my best at this one. There we go. But how's it going, Nafidi? I hope you're doing alright. Awoken's were on a ship just like the Saramantan. Uh... Oh, fuck. Just like the Saramantan server, we're affected by the energies of light from the Traveler and darkness from pyramids clashing outside the vicinity, which made men have glowing skin and both light and dark powers. Plus, before these people were awoken, they were human. Uh, when multiple Orphics are at the same time, that's when you know you're screwed. I think we're actually getting out of this quite, quite okay. And if we're not, we're not. Like, we're now 21, which is... Um, 7 times 3, so we're on a C rotation again. So we're like 2 C rotations in. Um, but it's alright. Well, I come uh, bring myself for that godforsaken open world for a good necromech. Uh, yeah, I'm just tenoing this. I'm just doing my teno. I'll just do it low levels, because um, unless you want to go for like the high score and like the high missions, um, the score for the relevant parts is actually easier to get on these missions, as far as I've seen. So you're better off if you want to get the if you want to get the event reward. So just do this low level and just go teno, because teno is quite okay as long as you're doing public missions. And there we go, another one down. Boom. So yeah, as long as you can coordinate, it will be quite alright. But um, yeah, I'm also not going Necromech. And Necromechs are down here. Like it's really cool. I really like the size of Necromechs. But um, yeah, it is. Uh, it is not really my thing. Uh, but he woke up also a bunch of perfects. <laughs> uh, Jin says you and me bows. Are they? Explain. Yeah, entirely. Let me just leave it here. So, uh, high reward, high level is most rewarding uh, by far if you have all the all the mechs. I, I was like, given the time that I spent on it, um, like I I was doing that middle thing, um, and that didn't seem to have that much of a difference with this thing, given that uh, I think I did like 15 or something uh, the middle one, and I did also 15 or 16 of the low one, and the amount of um, stuff we got was about the same. But then again. And there we go. Uh, this thing is done. Doing? The Time to move. Let's go. Let's, yeah, let's get out of here. Ooh. I could farm a plot for it instead of the open world. Uh, it could be easier. There is actually, like, if you do this event, the Arcan Energizers are so easy to get. It's insane. I I, I can't believe the low, low prizes for these, uh, for these Arcanes. It's crazy. It's absolutely fucking crazy. But, uh, hey. That's pretty good. There we go. How much did we get? 605. I think I can get my uh, Warframe blueprint now. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, uh, let's go to um, the demos to get the Warframe blueprint, and then let's go watch the cinematics. Let's go so fast if you stay longer than the higher level ones. You can go for 25k points per run on the high level. Oh, shit. Okay, that's that's actually pretty good. Uh, how long is that, by the way? Like, how long how long would you go for, approximately? Because I think we went about half an hour on this thing. Uh, let me go demos right here. And um, Necrolisk. I'm really disappointed there's no Necrolisk 69. Observe the cinematics. First, let me, let me go grab the Warframe Blueprint. I keep thinking that father or should... That father or should the cold of Warframe say stepdad and said, Look, another orphan. Oh man, oh man. The way that they were like, oh, hey kids. Um... About an hour for 20k to 25k. Okay, that's definitely worth it. That is very worth it. Because this was about an hour for 1.5k. So, 55 minutes if you're really good. 
All right, let's purchase one. Boom. All right, let's get get out of here. Let's go watch the cinematics. Uh, just read the the lore. There's a bunch of generous shit they do, like incest is not an uncommon thing. Oh boy, games and their lores sometimes. Games and their lore sometimes. Um, all right, let's go here. Okay, we have the new war here. The prologues. What is this here? Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck! I don't know what this means! Alright, we have someone here. Wait, Necromex are on the market? Actually, I should check that in a moment, too. Ooh, I have not seen this before. So quiet. So dark. Mm. It only needs a voice. A spark. But mother. Mother's gone. This is all that remains. But you have and her fire. Does. And more. Oh, damn. How did that happen? You can finish what she started. Finish the war. Damn, boy. Bring peace. Bring purity. On Lua, the the last Lewis, part. I, I attacked you. Fast. I knew I had failed. Failed you, my sister. Failed our family. I had no choice but to retreat. No. You were destroyed. The Tenno made sure of that. You're still recovering. With all that the Makers did to you, it will take time to heal. He is one of them, isn't he? A maker. It's still so weird, okay? Like, I've gone really rather deep in the Warframe lore. Uh, much deeper than many other people have gone. I mean, there are there are also many, many more people that will go deeper than this than me. Uh, it's just so weird to me. In the sense of what was Balance's plan? He was like, let's free the low or let's free Nata from like the lotus grasp. Let's then Umbra was like a cock up, like he didn't know about Umbra, but then he gets stabbed. And then while I'm stabbed, then while I get stabbed, which wasn't the plan, I'm gonna be captured by Nata. Then I'm gonna be transformed to a sentient slave. In the meantime, I'm gonna give the Tenno the weapon to kill the sentients. And then, like, like what was the plan? What's going on here? It is so weird. Why is she so surprised when one cuts you go? Uh, Arisa, tell her maker. Um, I think uh, she has some weird things going on with her memory. I think the Lotus is still in there. It's there is so little to go on at this point. Um, let's go watch them in order. Man slammed her across the room like such. She finished the damn war, bitch. The Lotus, you mean that fake program Ballas made? I think, yeah, I think Ballas is scheming beyond what we can understand right now, but I know he has a plan. It just feels so loose. Like, I wish I wish we would actually like have something conclusive, but let's 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 watch. Oh, yeah, we, we, we can't see this because we've already done this. And also, this doesn't show. Okay. And this was literally just a prologue thing. Okay, I see. It looks like he wants both parties to destroy each other, but who the fuck knows? Balaz wants both parties to kill themselves, and he rises from the ashes? No, he's already been pretty much dead. Like, he's, 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 he's not doing so good. 
He's not doing too good, man. But yeah, hopefully this year. Hopefully fucking this year we'll uh, we'll see it come to fruition. Um Anyway, um I think that's gonna be it for the day. Um we've been going over two hours. That was the first Warframe stream in a while. Hope you all enjoyed. Might might do more, I don't know. Um but yeah. Um that is it for today. I'll see you all next time. Um Yeah, have a have a great rest of your 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 your, your Monday. That's Monday today, right? Yeah, it's Monday. Have a great rest of your Monday. <laughs> so yeah, we know that Tom was the one who told Orphrix to uh shall we host Joey? Um, I will make sure that I can do that in the near future. I can't do that right now, but go check out, um, uh, Joey Sir. Is he alive right now? Uh, and she'll send us a hidden message where he says I'm dying. Where did she do that? Anyway, um. Right here, Joey's doing, uh, doing, Joey's doing, uh, World of Warcraft right now. I was going to say Jiso. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get back to the, to the hosting thing at some point. Um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I'm going to say Colin Bear, dude, if you need to, if you need your sleep, get your sleep. But, uh, Joey's right here doing, um, World of Warcraft right now. Check him out if you want to. Um, he's a really, really cool guy. I like him. So, anyway, see you all around! And um, goodbye, uh, as uh, as uh, as Xenny would say. <laughs>